Okay, my family, I have a word from our sister, Deborah Walden Fry. This is the secret place. Beloved, there is a secret place, a place between heaven and earth. It is the place of my glory. I speak with you here and reveal my secrets to you and show you the things to come. You must let go of your fears and worries, my child. These fears and doubts have you chained to this earth realm. These chains are invisible but effective tool of the enemy to keep you from my presence. I have set you free, my child. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. These bindings are only an illusion. They are constructed of fear, doubt, and unbelief. It is a choice to cast all your cares upon me. So come, dear one, choose life. Shake them off once and for all. I am faithful and true. You are safe in my hands. You were born to abide in the realms of the spirit. Release to me now every care, every worry, every sickness, every financial burden. I am well able to keep those which you entrusted to me until that day. It is the time of the two worshipers who worship and commune with their father in spirit and truth. Abide under the shadow of my wings. I delight in you. The veil has been taken away, and you are being transformed into my image, reflecting my glory. We are one in the Spirit, my bride. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The realm of my glory is where you abide. You in me, and I in you. Do not submit again to the devil's yoke of slavery. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Galatians 5 and 1. But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the glory of the Lord are being transformed into his image with intensifying glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 16 and 18. But a time is coming, and now has come, when the two worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for the Father is seeking such as these to worship Him. God is Spirit, and His worshippers must worship Him in Spirit and in truth. John 4, 2, 3, through 2, 4. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us, seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Jesus Christ in order that in the coming ages he might display the surpassing riches of his grace, demonstrated by his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 6-7 My beloved spake and said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. The Song of Solomon 2 and 10 Glory to God in the highest, my family. At this time, we should be working on our hearts and ridding our hearts of all unforgiveness, of any residual hatred, of any residual feelings of unworthiness. For when we put on the armor of God, we wear the the righteousness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. For he alone is worthy and without sin. Prepare now your hearts. Surrender fully to Jesus Christ. Turn all over all your cares and worries and fears that bind you to this earth. Come to him and surrender completely to his perfect timing and his perfect will for your life. When you do this, you will receive his peace, the peace that only Jesus Christ can give. where you do worry no longer about worldly things. Surrender it all to him. And in return, receive his peace. Glory to God in the highest. I pray all is well with my brethren. I pray the blood of Jesus over your homes and your families. I pray his hedge of protection around your vehicles, around your homes, 
around your pets, around your families, around your places of work and worship, and most of all, around your children's schools. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy, holy name, glory to God in the highest. Amen and amen.